20th century, hundreds of different kinds of animals have disappeared from the wild. This is the story of one of them. Hawaiian oos were strikingly beautiful. Long-tailed, elegant birds with ornate plumage of black, white, and brilliant yellow. They were a wonderful sight as they flew through the forests of the Hawaiian Islands. Their strange common name, Owo, comes from a bird's distinctive call, described as Awau, Awau, Awo. The final note, a shriek which could be heard half a mile away. Of the four known species of Owos scattered through the Hawaiian island chain, the largest was the Hawaiian Owo. Hawaii, the big island of the Hawaiian group, is still an active volcano. Its tropical location and lava and limestone rock base have given rise to perhaps the most diverse collection of plants and animals to be found anywhere in the world. The plants and animals evolved to form almost symbiotic relationships, like this nectar-feeding, rufous-tailed hummingbird from Belize. The Hawaiian owl collected nectar on the wing and was an integral part of the pollination process on which the tropical flowers of the island relied. Its role within the ecology of the whole island was even linked with Polynesian culture. The richness of its plumage elevated the Oo to the realms of Polynesian royalty. The king's robes and headdresses were laced with the glistening black feathers and curious bright yellow feather tusks growing beneath the Oo's wings. Thousands of Hawaiian Oo's were trapped by the king's bird collectors in order to make all kinds of royal garments. This was not an easy task. The birds would often be found living up to an altitude of 1,200 meters, feeding on flowers over 30 meters up in the treetops. To make the task even harder, they were incredibly swift and agile. After plucking the required feathers, the captors were supposed to release the bird. Unfortunately for the owo, it was considered a great delicacy, particularly when fried in its own fat. However, the biggest threat to the bird was the arrival of Europeans on the Hawaiian Islands, who hunted them too. But they were also responsible for the introduction of predators such as rats and cats. The cattle ranchers began to wipe out most of the forest habitats of the Hawaiian O's, using slash and burn methods to make way for pasture land. At the same time, ship's cats ran wild and gorged themselves on the bird bounty of the island. Inevitably, massive ecological disruption occurred on this pristine island habitat. Europeans viewed the Hawaiian Islands as an Eden to be utilized. This had a noticeable effect in the new cattle grazing areas. Although cattle browsed in the lower parts of the forest, a strange chain reaction occurred the O's rapidly disappeared from the upper levels of the forest canopy. But total destruction of the forest to make way for pasture and farmland was more obviously to blame. Cash crops provide ripe pickings on the rich volcanic soils and the O's lost their battle for survival to the fruit farmers. By the 1950s, three quarters of the rich natural forest of Hawaii was already lost. In 1934, the last existing Hawaiian O was recorded. A low bird was heard on the slopes of Mauna Loa, calling for a non-existent mate. <laughs> 